Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix channel. It's Tuesday and today I am going to show you some interesting tidbits about uh, placing effects in the signal chain and how they the sound will vary greatly depending on where you place it. So, shall we? Alright, I'm going to leave my microphone on while I have the guitar on. Ta-da! And uh, let's start at the beginning. Well, let's, I've got the reverb over here. Let's move it a little closer, shall we? Now, the, uh, the gate is on, mildly. I can turn it off because this is a clean preset. I always use the LA Studio Comp. I just love the way it sounds. It's very transparent. It can get squishy if you really push it, but I don't like to do that. I like it for a nice present volume bump into the front end of the amp. That's where I like to put it. But that's not all the only place where you can put it. You know where you can put it. So let's uh, take these other things and bypass them. And so when we've got the... Uh that's the... Uh Compressor in front. Put the compressor right here. Put the compressor after the IR. Now, something like this doesn't really. Uh, affect the tone as much as an actual effect, like a modulation or something like that. You could place it. You need a lot of similar similar uh, sounds with uh, doing that. But the thing I really wanted to show was this pitch shifter that I've set up. Now it's got it's got a 58 millisecond delay in it, but you can't really hear it when it's in this position. So let's move it to where I like to put it now, up here. You can. hear that uh, you know uh, the delay moving it down here you could still hear it but you've got to bump up the mix so I'll push the mix up to 50% and now you'll be able to hear it again so it, it's just good to know that the effects react differently in different positions in the signal chain that's just the way they are um, let's take a delay and I'll show you that example as well delay is also so it's, you know, more or less an ambient kind of delay. It's not... It's not obnoxious. Until we move it in front of the amp. All that will change. It becomes super delay. And a little more than I would like, but uh, it's still useful. But it the uh, it just changes drastically from there. To here. So the reverb I found to not do uh, not to be as as exaggerated when you move it around, but I like to keep the reverbs at the end of the signal chain anyway. 
and uh, because they, it keeps it kind of clean. Let's take this and move it over here. And turn this back on. Bring the mix back down to where it was. We won't hear a delay, but we'll get some pitch shift. <laughs> You know, it's just a, a good tip from me to you. Um, effect placement matters. Effect lives matter. So, uh, and here's what's going on with the, uh, I'm using a new IR. I got a new IR pack from my own hammer last night or night before. 112 Deluxe Reverb. Oh man, it is great for clean sounds. Um, so, I'm going to start changing some of those out. And I'm using the Huat. It is a, my one of my go-to clean amps. It just has a nice, uh, nice punch to it. It's good stuff. So there you have it, everyone. Placing your stuff. And how things, you know, will change when you do that. And where you move it. So let's, uh, one last thing. Let's move this up in here. See what we get. We get a much more pronounced delay effect, and the uh, the pitch shifting comes through a lot more. Yes, there you have it, everyone. Mm, fun, fun, fun. Tomorrow I will be back with another uh, name that riff, late '80s metal. Mm, prepare yourself. Gird your loins, ladies. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on tomorrow. Please subscribe, share, like my videos. You can buy any of my preset packages that are in the description. Just click the little Show More tab. They'll all show up. There's five of them. Very Eccentric Volume 1, Yacht Rock Volume 1, Early 80s Rock, Early 80s Hard Rock, and the 5150 Amp Pack. Mm. What more could you ask for? So, I will see you tomorrow, and until then, rock on.